गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ फ्लैश फोटोलिसिस ऑलरेडी दिस फ्लैश फोटोलिसिस टेक्निक वी हैव लर्न इन केमिकल डायनामिक्स द सेम टेक्निक इवन वी कैन यूज इन स्टडीज ऑफ फोटोकेमिकल प्रोसेसिस एज इन फोटोकेमिकल प्रोसेसिस देर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट्स लाइक सिंगलेट एंड ट्रिपलेट सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वांटिटी ऑफ सिंगलेट एंड ट्रिपलेट जनरेटेड वी कैन यूज फ्लैश फोटोलिसिस टेक्निक इट इज डेवलप्ड बाय नॉरिश एंड पॉटर in this technique the concentration of intermediates are generated using strong flash light which is easily analyzed by spectroscopic method in this particular reaction system actually this is a, a reaction system where the reactions are taking place even it is called cell it is subjected to a high intensity flash this flash is generated from this particular tube and the reaction is monitored by using single beam absorption spectroscopy so it is somewhat like colorimetry uh, instrument so this this is a single beam absorption spectroscopy is used actually this is a secondary light this is a primary flash light using this primary flash light the reaction is carried out in this reaction vessel and the concentration of intermediates are generated or reaction is carried out is measured by using this secondary light generated by this sing, uh, this particular uh, uh, bulb uh, whose the monitoring flash is directed this is generally applied perpendicular to uh, a photo flash the light from monitoring flash this is passed through a reaction cell and then it is passed through a spectrograph uh, the absorption spectra so using spectrograph we get absorption spectra this gives a concentration of intermediate formed and using this we can uh, learn the quantity of intermediate formed during this process this method is called flash photolysis the duration of photolytic flash is set to 1 to 10 microsecond so the flash generated by this photo flash is just within 1 to 10 microsecond and it produces a very high intense light of the energy around 20 to 2000 joules within 1 to 100 microseconds and this is a flash photolysis method which commonly we used in photochemical studies thank you